Hi, fellow key shooter. So on my sugar skull animation that I have here on YouTube, uh, a guy was asking if I could do a tutorial for how I created this metal material, this oxidated metal, and uh, sure, no problem. So in this tutorial, we're going to create a material, not completely like it, but close to. So the principle is the same. We have like a base shiny metal material, and then we have a uh, layered material on top of it. And then we are using a curvature map to uh, as an op opacity map for the for the top layer. So we get the bottom one to shine through. So let's stick right into it. All right, so here I have my model. It's downloaded from 3dscans.com. And uh, I really like this crack in his head. Um, and here I have my material graph where we're going to create the magic. And uh, right now it's just a diffuse material. And we will start off with uh, creating the uh, base material. So let's make that a shiny metal. Go to the material type and change that to metal. And for the color, I'm going to uh, go with something with a bit yellow in the, in the color information. Like this. And we're going to do two things with this material. We're going to um, add a roughness map and a bump map. So I go to uh, my window here and press M to bring up the materials. Um, go to the textures tab. And I want to use a material called metal uh, metal texture. I think this one is really cool. Um, and you can go ahead and find any texture that you would like to use. So I drag this in and drag it into the uh, plus sign here and say roughness. Then I'm going to add in a color, oops, sorry, a color to number to adjust the values of this bitmap. So, all right, connect it and hit C on the keyboard to bring up the color information. And we can see that we need to scale it as a first thing. Let's do that. I think that a uh, seven is going to work fine. And then um, I want this to be darker. Black is going to be completely shiny. So I'm going for something like this. And if you hit C again on the keyboard, you can see the, the difference. And we get a subtle effect uh, of these scratches here, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to duplicate this bitmap and drag it into the bump as well just to add a bit more subtle details. And I'm going to change the, the bump height to something around 0.2. All right. That's it for our base material. And to add a layer on top, a new material on top of this material, I'm going to right click, say materials, and then I am going with a paint material because this material we are going to put on top is, uh, is more diffuse and we don't need that middle specularity. So drag that in the new material to the plus sign and it's going to be added as a label. Looks quite nice actually, this completely white shiny model. All right, but that's not what we're looking for here. We are looking for a rusty texture. So again, I know I'm going to need a, a bitmap, which I will load in right away. Again, I go to the textures tab and I have a map called rust that I want to use this one. First step I want to do is to add it as a color information. Um, and again, hit C on the keyboard when you have it in to uh, view the pure color information. And again, I can see the scale is uh, a bit too small. So I'll bump it up to seven. Yup, that looks cool. And uh, I want a way more ready appearance than we have here. So I am going to add in a color adjust utility node. And when I have connected the bitmap to the color information and this output to the color input, I can double click on the color adjust. And here in the colorize, I'm going to add in um, some orange reddish color to make it look 
really like rust i think i'll go with this and uh we should probably also adjust the roughness i'm not going to use a map here because we just want an, an overall rough appearance something like this and um i also want to use this map for the bump map so i duplicate it and drag it into the bump channel and i think this is looking quite cool just maybe bump it down to 0.6 or something all right so now we have our two materials we have our rust layer and beneath it we have our shiny middle what we need to do now is to uh, add, a, add an opacity map for this paint overlay material um, to make this metal, shiny metal material come through. And for that, we're going to use a texture called curvature, which looks at the uh, curvature on the model. And based on if it's like concave or convex or just straight, it uh, apply different color values to it to it that we can use as uh, the opacity map so if we just start by adding that in and view the pure color information we can see what is going on so where we have negative curvature gets a red color right now so the, it, that's all these spots and we can see that uh, that is what we want to have the rusty appearance so that needs to be completely white white and the positive is where we want the, the shiny material to come through. So we're going to change that to black. And this zero curvature could be something in between, or you can play around with it and see what looks good. All right. So if we uh, press C on the keyboard again to hide the pure color information, you can see uh, that we have something very close to what uh, we are looking for. We have this uh, shiny metal material coming through on all the uh, like positive curvature. What is left is to adjust maybe cutoff, radius. Let's have a look at the color information here to see what is going on. All right, that's it for now. I hope you learned something from it and uh, that you can use it to create your own layered metal materials. I'm looking forward to see what you are using it for. Um, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to see more like this. Until next time, take care.